the original white metal dwarf gyrocopter. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, today we've got a real vintage treat for you. This is out of my own collection. This is the old white metal dwarf gyrocopter. You may remember that from the past. And what I am doing is I've got a whole bunch of dwarf models from my old collection that I haven't even built or opened yet. And this is one of those rare old boxes I got. It's still got the shrink wrap on it. So since Games Workshop has released their 2018 edition of the General's Handbook, I thought I would build some of these models and add them to my army. Of course, I have to use the old uh, Compendium War Scroll, the updated 2017 for the rules and point costs. Maybe not for the gyrocopter, because that's still under the iron wheeled arsenal, but you know what I mean. So what we're going to be doing, this is exciting news, we're going to be having a tournament on August the 18th, 2018, right down here at Monster Hobbies. And there's going to be a package for the rules of our tournament going up on our Facebook page. So that's my little advertisement for the store for the day. but. At any rate, let's go down and see what's in the box of the old white metal dwarf gyrocopter. And now we take to the skies with the original dwarf gyrocopter by Games Workshop. And this is another one of these really old kits that I have in my basement that no one else is ever going to have except me. <laughs> Alright, this is the original dwarf gyrocopter. And as you can see, the box is quite simple. And it's got the instructions on the back, but I've never opened this. It is an original. It's white metal. And just for you guys, there goes that knife. Into the packaging. Getting it ready to open up. Mm. Looks like over its history it's had a couple of interesting things happen to the box here. So hopefully nothing's wrecked inside. Now this is one of those old plastic compartmentalized boxes, so it's quite nice if you have anything else you want to store in here later on. And these are quite interesting to open up. Now, first thing is, you get this nice square base. Ooh, ah, notice the texture detail and all the holes underneath. You can drill and put your pegs through. I don't know, this is not too exciting. You get a clear base with that though, with two different heights, so you can have your gyrocopter up or down, different level. It's pretty standard for that. Okay, let's look at the actual parts. So there's the tail fins, they're kind of nice, look like little butterfly fins. And of course this one was replaced with the more modern gyrocopter that you see everywhere. There's one of the gyrocopter blades. The problem with white metal. I don't know if this is supposed to be bent like this, or if it's supposed to be straight. White metal is fairly soft and can be like, easily bent. I won't try to unbend this in case I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, there's the cockpit, the original cockpit for this. There. You can see it's got dwarf legs molded in the bottom. It's kind of a funny balloony type shape thing, almost like a like a uh, raft, a river raft, for the old U.S. Army or something. There's a couple little bombs underneath here. Interesting detail, if I could focus. <laughs> All right, anyway. Here's the dwarf pilot with the winged helmet. And he would just drop right into there. There's the back of him. Come on, camera, behave. Here, let's just go back here. There we go. Okay, yeah, so there you can see the nice detail. What well, metal molds were not too bad, you know, when all things considered. He would sit right in there, ready to fly. In some old uh, white dwarfs I have from like 
the early 2000s, 2003, 2004, they show various ways that you can make this helicopter into like tanks and other things. What we see here is the upright motor for the helicopter. Of course, it's got the axe molded in there. Give him the axe, the axe, the axe. <laughs> and I do believe this somehow goes to the back here. Yeah, somewhere in there. And that's got the chain drive. It's almost like a Volkswagen motor for a Volkswagen Beetle. But there you go. And of course we have the other propeller, our rotor blades. This is going to be interesting to glue together. Ooh, yeah, is it ever. Little teeny tab goes in there. It's going to even be tough by plastic standards. I hope I can do this. <laughs> and here's our stabilizing rudder right there, which would go... Probably got that upside down, but... It's going to go in there somewhere. Oh yeah. I guess like that. So the little dwarf can fly around. And there's the propeller from the motor. The stabilizer. And what else we got here? A couple little skis for the thing to land on. These have got shock absorbing struts <laughs> so when it lands it doesn't just crash on the ground it can actually brace for a little impact and there's a I think that's a front cannon oh and there's the dwarf's arm with the lever so yeah quite a cool little vintage helicopter what I thought I'd do with this of course is build up the vintage one and then have it fly in in a center of a triangular formation and then I'm gonna play the the uh, Valkyrie song you know dun, 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 dun. and anyway so that brings us to the end of our review of the original white metal dwarf gyrocopter well we hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies what's in the box where we got to look at this vintage white metal dwarf gyrocopter and if you would like to make a contribution to our web channel please go over to my YouTube homepage and look for the Facebook PayPal icon. Facebook. Well, you can go there too. But look for the PayPal icon and click there and you can make a little donation. Now, if you'd like to see what models we have available at Monster Hobbies, please look in the link down below. I'm going to leave one there for our store. Just click on there and it'll take you right to our Games Workshop page for Age of Sigmar. And if you would like to see some of my other unboxings that I've done, check them out here, here, and here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us here and click that notification bell so that every time I open up box, you also get to see what's in the box. And until next time, happy model building.